Mick says, I'm a female. I had a boyfriend who choked. I'm assuming you meant choke me. I'm nothing like the women you talk about. Why didn't you push her away and leave? Because I want, again, you're a female. I'm glad you clarified that. So y'all tend not have to think like a lot of us men have to think. If she's across the door frame like this, again, me pushing her, I literally just put my hands on her. So the police coming and then asking me, sir, did you put your hands on her? I would have had to say yes. They're going to immediately think that I beat her, put my hands on her, when actually I just pushed her out the way. Now, looking back at 40, you're 100% right. I wish I did that at 26. But at the end of the day, me leaving, I was still going to have to call the police. She was still going to have to leave. And we were still going to be into it. Because guess what? If it wasn't the heat of the moment a lot of times, Mick, then a lot of times the police don't even side with the guy. When, when it's time to hear our story, after everything's calmed down, a lot of times they don't want to hear that shit. If it's not the heat of the moment and that's kind of what saved me. What's going on, Gail? Salute, Gail. Big sis Gail in the chat. Hold on. Make them get right back to you, I promise. This is the greatest moderator in YouTube history. Y'all go follow Gail. Go follow Gail. Go follow Gail. Love you to death, sis. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for checking me out. Let me get back to Mick. So I should have pushed her away. Looking back, because I, of course, I ended up choking her. But at the time, arrogant ego me. That's why I said go look at my videos. That's why I said I took accountability. How I almost Tory Lanez and Javante Davis myself. Dealing with the wrong woman, overlooking certain things. I'm glad you're nothing like what, what she is or was or whatever. But it's so many men, I'm telling you, make they deal with this shit all the time and we suffer in silence. When we're asking women, hey, why don't you leave? Why don't you leave all the time? You know, when y'all are in abusive relationships and stuff like that, because as a man, it's like, we can see the bruises on you. The stories y'all are telling that it sounds so horrendous. But again, y'all are socialized not to take this shit from men because we're socialized as little boys. You don't hit girls. Nobody ever tells the girls not to hit the boys. When I say it's deep, it's deep. It sounds like an excuse. It sounds like, you know, whatever you don't want to receive. I'm not saying you make per se, but society wise, it sounds like an excuse, but it's real. This shit, if you, if you tell somebody they are stupid long enough from the time they're learning in school because they miss some math problem and you tell them every year after that, that they're fucking stupid. By the time they become an adult, they're going to think something's mentally wrong with them. So they've been getting told that they're stupid their whole life. I hope that analogy made sense. Let me get to some of these other chats. Uh, Spain man, let me see. You Spain man said, you shouldn't have to explain this. Most men have the potential under the right circumstances. I uh, argue. And that's the thing, Spain man. I do have to explain it. And the reason why I put those videos out is because it's so many, it's so many men out there that are embarrassed and ashamed to tell their stories. Like when I put the video out, I had no idea it was gonna blow up. I can't even say it blow up. It got a couple, it got several hundred views. That's a blow up for me. I'm a small channel. You guys can see, and while you're here, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Biggest thing is discuss when we leave from this space because this is this is what I'm doing this for but when we're telling our stories we're often shamed so this my incident happened in 08 I was at a job in 2010 where I worked around nothing but women and some of these things came up and I shared it with them and I was immediately all types of bitch um, I lost respect for you oh I thought you was a real man I thought you were one of the good ones I heard it all so I clammed up, went inside myself again, thinking I was the problem. So thinking that, internalizing it, what did my dumb ass do? Again, accountability. 
every time me and my ex got back together, I reached out because I feel, felt like I fucked up prior to. You heard what I said. I said I felt like I wasn't thinking. I wasn't moving in logic. Because looking back at it, and this is why I moved the way I move a lot of times with women. Like now, I can't date a girl that doesn't have a relationship with her father. That's a lot of women. I can't date a single mom. Seriously. That's a lot of women. And it's a choice that I'm having to make because I didn't bend down that road. And it's not just with this particular ex that I'm talking about. It's other shit that I've been through. I haven't even shared those stories yet. So I had to get this main one out, this major one out. So other brothers hopefully could hear it. And it seems like it's, you know, catching a little bit of fire because I had brothers hit me up on here um on youtube on facebook and they're saying hey thank you in a nutshell thank you you didn't have to share this i thought i was the only one i knew i wasn't the only one i couldn't have been the only one and now you confirmed it or hey i got one for you then i hear their story and i'm like oh shit that was easy and like I was saying on Dr. Tia San last night, after this incident and she got arrested and everything was adjudicated because we went to court three times, Nick. That's the other part you don't know, sis. Yeah, no one should stay in a violent relationship. You're 100% right. And now the first time it happens, people got to go. And I'm all for that for men, for women. Like, that's just my thing. I don't like lies. I don't like disrespect. And we ain't got no business putting our hands on each other unless we fuck it. That's my philosophy. I don't like that shit. It has never made sense to me. I have family members that have went through it. And that's when I do get frustrated with the sisters a lot of times because y'all really stay. I'm not going to take away that y'all are more loyal to us a lot of times. But which one of us? What type of us? What type of black man? I'm speaking to my community now. I don't know what the races of everybody in here, but I know y'all go through it too. But just in general, if I say black, apply it to whatever particular race or demographic you are. Because I know we all go through it. But I know a lot of women will go through it. But again, you have the tools a lot of times on your side. And I know there's incidents where you guys say something to the police and stuff like that and nobody believes you. But if you have the means, you need to leave. That's the other thing I wanted to touch on too. We keep telling our women they can do whatever the fuck they want to do, this, that, and the third. They boss bitches and all that shit. But when they get in an abusive relationship, now all of a sudden she didn't have the means to leave. Well, he controlled the money. She was afraid. Y'all aren't afraid any other time. When you told the other guy no, you wasn't afraid. When you wouldn't help the, the nice guy and he fell into a tight spot, you wasn't afraid. But all of a sudden with the abuser, you're afraid to say no. And I always ask the same question. How do you get there in the first place? How do you get that close to you in the first place? And again, this is where these situations come up where these kids are manipulating. Listen to Ilana again. Iyanla. This is why in our culture as black people, when the boys turn a certain age, the men come and get him and take him away from the mother because she can emotionally manipulate him. But since we don't live in our culture no more, we say what we want to say, do what we want to say. We tear our men down and then wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers. Mothers destroy sons. His mother can speak to him in certain ways that destroy him in ways that can never be repaired. Mothers destroy sons. That's a little boy. My son just loved his mama. She got on a thong again. Just all rubbing on her butt. Rubbing on her butt. This sister again. Walking all outside. Straight ass thing. Say what you want. Noah, what are you doing? <laughs> Noah. No. He's spinning around the pole. He said, he he said stop that hush, man. <laughs> Baby got me.
in the words of St. Kevin Samuels. You can't, you can't, you cannot make this shit up.